Thank you to Squarespace for sponsoring this video. Whether you're in need of a website, domain, or online store, make your next move with Squarespace. A little while ago, I made a video where I compared medium format film to medium format digital, where I took an RZ67 and a Fuji GFX, and took some portraits in my studio, just as a little light comparison to see which one I preferred. And in my opinion, it was a pretty easy win for the RZ. However, today, something arrived which I think could change everything. So this is it the potential game changer. Well, actually, this other bit is kind of important as well. So this is a lens for the Mamiya 645, and with an adapter, now I'm able to put it onto the body of the Fuji. Because what if really, it wasn't the emulsion which made film so great, it was the vintage lenses which gave it its character and feel. I think a lot of it does actually come down to this. Modern lenses are so clinical and sharp and made to be as perfect as possible and sometimes they do just miss that edge of looking a bit real. Not every photo has to be perfectly sharp. But there is a slight problem with this whole experiment. I cheaped out. I got a 210mm lens and not what would be the kind of equivalent of normal, an 80mm because I only wanted to spend £40. <laughs> It's going to be a bit of a challenge to shoot with, but uh, who knows, could be fun. And you may be thinking, why not just use the lenses you already have for your RZ67? And I would love to, but that's easier said than done. You see, the lenses for the RZ don't actually move. The RZ is an unusual camera where the camera's body actually has the focusing system built into it in the form of some bellows. So if I was to put it onto the Fuji, it would be set at one focal distance, which I'm guessing isn't very ideal. But anyway, let's go and take some photos. I couldn't tell if you were actually trying to do like some stunts. No. Or that one. <laughs> it's that was, just... I was trying to attempt a conventional swing in there. So I went over to Billy's house, who you might recognise as the guy in the skateboarding photo from the last video. And I just took a few simple portraits as just a test of the setup. And I'm not gonna lie, these photos aren't particularly good. But I don't think that's the point of a video like this. It's much more about the effect and the characteristics that the setup kind of gives than looking at beautiful works of art. The only time we could actually shoot this was right in the middle of the day, which obviously doesn't give the best light. And it's actually been pretty rainy here recently, so uh, it's been pretty hard to find the time to go out and take some photos. However, I do think the tonality and the feel of these photos is quite good. They look pretty nice. They do have a bit more kind of natural feel to them than the previous photos I took. And I do think I would be way happier with the results from this than from Fuji's own lenses. So one of the main problems with this setup is how you have to be absolutely miles away to be able to take any photos. It's so telephoto, it's incredibly impractical. And what's even worse is when you're trying to take photos of someone, trying to give them direction or instructions, you really just have to yell at them. So I think in an ideal world, you'd just cough up the money for the 80mm lens. And then you'd have a pretty powerful combo for taking photos. But at that price point, you would really hope so. But I also guess that shooting regularly on an RZ67 and having the photos developed by a lab, that's going to add up pretty quickly as well. So I can definitely see some cases where this would be preferable. But as for me, for now, I think I'm going to be sticking with the RZ. So finally, I'd like to thank Squarespace again for sponsoring this video. If you're looking to purchase a domain, maybe start a blog or an online store, or maybe you want to build a website for your business or a photography portfolio. All of this is made so simple with Squarespace. It's a really amazing all-in-one platform where you can build websites that look incredibly professional with no experience. There's an amazing variety of themes to get you started and there's also really great customer support if you ever do come into any problems. Having a website is something that I consider pretty vital, whether it's through a business or for yourself, it's pretty important to come across as professional and display your work nicely. And Squarespace is the perfect place to do so. 
So if you want to go and get yourself a lovely new website today, you can sign up using the code negative feedback and get 10% off your order. So what have you got to lose? Go and get yourself a new website today with Squarespace. Thank you for watching this video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. See you next time.